Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shifty's 49ers Talk. It's your boy Shifty coming at you with another one. Today, we are going to be talking about the Carson Wentz trade from the Colts to the Commanders and then the impact that could have and the implications that will have for Jimmy Garoppolo ultimately getting traded away from the 49ers. Before we get into that video, I want to give a big shout out to everybody. We are now at 400 subscribers, so really appreciate all of you. Love that you guys have decided to join me on this journey and love, love talking football and all that good stuff and of course my crazy reactions. So um, it's awesome to see there's so much excitement coming up with free agency, the draft, more trades. You know, then we have training camp and then the season. It's just going to be wild. It's going to be fun. And I uh, just want to say a quick thank you to uh, everyone who's uh, decided to come along for the ride. With that being said, without further ado, let's get into the video. Carson Wentz traded from the Colts to the Commanders one year after being traded from the Eagles to the Colts. He's now on his third team in three years. Pretty wild for a guy who was drafted number two overall and was thought to have maybe been in a potential MVP discussion at one point in his career. How the mighty have fallen. So when I look at this trade, I actually look at this trade and I think of it as a win-win for both of these teams. If we look at it from the Washington Commanders perspective, they have just clearly rebranded their whole team. I think Carson Wentz comes in, he's squeaky clean, zero off the field issues. I think he's someone who is a solid quarterback, will definitely have some very exciting games. And I think that's going to be good for a brand of football that the Washington Commanders want to put out. He's also fits that criteria that Ron Rivera likes, a veteran quarterback. He was very clearly interested in going after that, which I think was a big reason why the Commanders were definitely part of those rumors about acquiring Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, the Commanders, they still have a lot of options. They gave up two third-round picks in 2023. That third-round pick could turn into a second-round pick should Carson Wentz play. I believe it's over 70% of the snaps. So if he's doing well and playing well, then they'll move it up to a second-round pick. But I think they will deem it worth it. Um, but here's the thing. That doesn't stop the Commanders from drafting a quarterback in the first round. I don't think Carson Wentz is necessarily coming to Washington to be the savior of the franchise, but someone who can you know, play pretty well, maybe get them to the playoffs. Um, if things fall their way, they're in a relatively easy division, I would say. Um, and uh, yeah, I really think it's a solid move. They could still go for, at the, with the 11th overall pick, maybe they can get Kenny Pickett, maybe they get Malik Willis, Matt Corral. In my opinion, all of those guys need some time to sit and learn, to learn an NFL offense, to learn, you know, NFL schemes, reading NFL defenses, a lot of things like that, getting mechanics down. So I think it's a great situation. If I were the commanders, that's something that I would for sure look into doing because the commanders, the Washington just football franchise, hasn't really had a legitimate quarterback in a long, long time. So they need someone who can be that guy. So I think the perfect situation for them Carson Wentz comes in, maybe he gets them to the playoffs, and they also draft a Malik Willis, someone who I think with a year or two to sit, I think he could be phenomenal. Washington have some really good weapons there too. Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Antonio Gibson, so not a bad Logan Thomas a tight end, so really not a bad situation to go in for Carson Wentz or and or uh, an early pick at quarterback. Now, when we look at it from the Colts' perspective, clearly they were not happy with their performance from Carson Wentz. So, And I think what really, really summed up Carson Wentz was that Week 18 game at the Jacksonville Jaguars. If they win that game, they're into the playoffs. And that probably keeps him in Indianapolis for at least another year or two. They go there and they get humiliated by the Jaguars. The Jaguars, who have the first overall pick, who are garbage they got humiliated by Jacksonville, and it seems like the Colts just struggle going to Jacksonville. But either way, that's just not good enough. He, They not only lost a close game where one or two things kind of didn't go their way, they got embarrassed. So I think that was really the nail in the coffin, and I think that 
you know, he went to a really solid situation in Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor ran all over defenses. They had some decent weapons. You know, Michael Pittman Jr., they have a, some really good defense to back them up. You know, Darius Leonard, to me, was one of the defensive players of the league. So, you know, if he can't get it done there, then maybe he can't get it done anywhere. Now, when I look at the draft at the capital that they got back, it's not great, but it's solid. You know, for how Carson Wentz played, I think it's pretty solid. You get a third round pick for sure this year and potentially a second round pick next year. And then with the Colts, I think they're going to be in the market for a veteran quarterback this offseason. You know, I think Frank Reich really wants to win right now. He recognized that he has a roster that can win right now. So uh, with that in mind, there is a veteran quarterback available. And who's that? Oh, yes. Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo is available. Car the Colts now have a couple of extra picks to work with to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. Now let's get into that discussion of what the Carson Wentz trade now means for the Jimmy Garoppolo pending trade. It is no secret that Jimmy Garoppolo will be traded from the 49ers. The recording of this is March 9th, Wednesday evening. So I'm going to say that he probably gets traded in the next couple of days. That would be ideal for the 49ers. That way we can go into free agency with some cap space. And just with a fresh perspective on the franchise, knowing that Trey Lance is now the guy. I think other teams really want to solve their quarterback situation earlier rather than later. And other teams who could potentially trade for Garoppolo will want to have him in the house so they know that, hey, we got Jimmy. We're ready to go. Let's maybe build a team around him. Or also look at Jimmy as a bridge quarterback and then uh, look and see what we can do option-wise in free agency, but more likely the draft. Now... With all this being said, the Colts have now probably become the favorite to land Jimmy Garoppolo in a trade. And there are some rumors, some whispers that this could happen maybe in the next day or two, that the Colts want to move fast. These teams want to move fast. They want to get it done. Now, the other teams who could potentially be interested in a Jimmy Garoppolo, I think really the other main one is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. So both teams who have rosters who can compete right now. Jimmy Garoppolo, if there's one thing he's shown, he can win games. So I think other teams, when they look at the Carson Wentz trade, they're going to look at probably that being what you'll have to give up in order to get a Jimmy Garoppolo. My guess is in NFL circles that these guys are kind of seen on a similar level. Not that they play the same, not that they've had the same kind of career by any means, but Garoppolo wins a lot. Garoppolo does have some really bad moments and he has an injury history, whereas Carson Wentz, you know, he can put up some solid numbers, put up some big numbers, but he hasn't necessarily had the big win. And he, although he's had some injury histories in the past, he tends to play more often than uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. So I think they're about the same in terms of NFL circles. Of course, there's contract issues and whatnot, where um, actually I think that favors the 49ers where they might get a little bit more value from Garoppolo because he just has the one year left, but it's also a lower cap hit than what Carson Wentz is going to get. And remember, in that Carson Wentz trade, Washington Commanders took on his entire contract. And I think that when Jimmy Garoppolo gets traded, that will be the same thing. So if I had to guess, I think that the Colts or the Steelers, it's going to be a third round pick this year. And then most likely a third round pick that could bump up to a second round pick next year, depending on playtime, depending on performance, depending on how many wins, things of that nature. But I think this has really set the, the going rate for a, a middle tier veteran quarterback who uh, is going to go to a team. So, uh, yeah, I think if I had to guess at this point, it seems like the Colts are probably the most likely team to go for Jimmy Garoppolo, although it wouldn't surprise me if Pittsburgh just swooped in and, uh, and got in there too. So um, hopefully for the 49ers' sake, those guys, you know, Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, one of them, you know, they just get a little bit more desperate than the other and they throw in maybe two seconds or something like that. We'll see. It's going to be very, very interesting. Um, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this, on Jimmy Garoppolo, on the Carson Wentz trade, how this could impact Jimmy Garoppolo and the trade we will ultimately be doing to uh, move on and to move officially into the Trey Lance era. But again, guys, I want to say thank you again to all the new subscribers, all the subscribers who've been here since the beginning be more videos coming up very soon and you know guys i'm gonna say two things the butt counts and i'm gonna catch y'all on the flip side